What's up guys, Chris here and welcome to a community video for Mindflare Games, TCG and more. And today's video is really... A... I want to start this series where I go over ideas I have for community um, bits and bobs and uh, ways I approach creating games, be it card games, TCGs or board games hopefully in the future. So what we have here is my little screen where I'm going to demonstrate through uh, affinity design on what I'm actually going to do. So this video is balancing cards and this can be quite difficult because we have all these ideas for cards and we want to ideally have the game as balanced as we can and unbreakable. So I've got a, a little video lined up for uh, a visual representation on this. So starting off have you heard of the game Overwatch? If not, play it, it's pretty awesome. I'm on there sometimes under the gamer tag Headrocks on PS4. If you see me, you've probably killed me. Congratulations. Uh, but in uh, all seriousness, Overwatch is a, I'm not gonna say perfectly balanced game, but is a, it is a well balanced game. So I'm gonna use the principles of Overwatch to help balance my game. So the prime example I have here is uh, Diva and Soldier, um, two characters within the game, and Diva is a tank, and Soldier is a assault DPS character, so damage per second. He's going to do a lot of damage. Diva, she's going to soak up a lot of damage. She's a tank. She has a lot of health and um, a weak ability. And this is the prime example of what I want to demonstrate today. Soldier has low health and high damage, and D.Va has high health and low damage. Perfect. They're two polar opposites of each other. If uh, if D.Va's not using her abilities, Soldier's going to get in there with his heli rock Helix Rockets and take D.Va out of her mech. Another prime example of this, which works extremely well, is Reaper and Winston. Reaper is extremely dangerous at close range. He has very powerful shotguns. Winston, he's got a fairly good, tel uh, fairly powerful Telsa cannon. However, you know he's not going to take out to Reaper if Reaper is up in Winston's face. Reaper, he has the low health, so he is at risk at being uh, destroyed and killed, eliminated by the Telsa cannon. But he has high damage with his shotguns. If he is in Winston's face, he's going to knock him out. So. This is the prime example. If you're building a character or building a card, are they a tank, or are they, a, you know, or or are they DPS? Also, you've got things like support as well, which uh, may not have high damage, or may not even have damage at all. And it's the same with um, uh, like uh, like support heroes, hero uh, heroes who can heal that sort of thing. They attack, they might be non-existent, but they can contribute to the team or the deck extremely well. So this is how I'm going uh, to be balancing my game. And this tab here, if you can see it, this this is the new project. This is Venkfi TCG. And um, I'm tempted to click on that just to show you briefly what I'm talking about within my game. So. Let's have a look. Here we go. There is no character loaded up. So here is a support hero. This is the white mage. Obviously it's not on there yet because the art is currently secret. I'm not telling anybody what's going on. But this is the card template for what I'm uh, currently working on. We have a cost. The cost can go into balancing a card as well. So if it's high cost, it could be that, being, uh, that uh, character or that hero is extremely extremely well buffed in uh, damage or health so you want this sort of thing the currency it doesn't matter if it's gems um, stars uh, points mines just gold um, the higher that number is the more powerful the card is going to be so this is four so it's relatively it's not bad it's easy to uh, get out on the board but it's not the greatest this actually might be taken down to a three but the white mage is actually a passive character. It doesn't have an attack, it doesn't have any shield, but this is its passive ability, or its ability 
on the card. Healing Light, all friendly min min millions, all friendly minions gain plus 10 HP to max HP per turn. So every turn this white mage is on the board, allies are going to get a plus 10 HP buff. But the health of this character is really low. This mage sits in the back line and it doesn't do much apart from heal over time. It's got that uh, AoE of it just heals constantly every turn every minion will get 10 HP so if they've been attacked they get a little bit of HP at the end of the turn so this is gonna round up this video today it's a, it's a bit of a different one if you kind of like these videos these community uh, driven videos please let me know in the comments down below I'm still doing community points so if you want uh, to earn some community points drop me a comment down below if you recommend a video to do in this sort of series uh, be it uh, card templates designing and uh, coming up with lore for characters and stuff like that drop me a comment as well and just give me a suggestion suggestions will get two community points and just a general comment will get one um, so if you say for example cool video brah you'll get one point if you say cool video brah do one about card templates. I will do one with card templates and you'll get two points for that. Okay, so I've been Chris. This has been Mindflare Games, TCGs and more. Follow me on Twitter at GhostFacerBeard and Instagram as well. And I will catch you in the next one.